so we're on our way heading out to the farm. <laughs> Got the boys following us from work out there and Gilly's just called us saying that something's flicked up and smashed his front windscreen. That's a good start to the weekend. Fuck The windscreen was just like fucking this stick is way too good for this car. Jesus Christ. Square bells, flat beds, clothesline sunsets, sky blue barn red. Wind chimes front porch, good dogs, wood floors, work boots, open doors, and miles and miles of John Deere green, freedom far as I can see, the road to run and room to breathe, that's who I am and I'll always be, caught up in the country, the only way I wanna be. Somewhere where the road ends, out there where the creek bends, that's where you can find me. With him. That's my Sharona. Oh, that's what it is. You got a full piece. Just give it to me. Three, two, one, action. G'day, guys. Cut. That was shit. Start again. Three, two, one, action. G'day, guys. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, Should we take so, over? We're here at Mudgee. We have Ames from the Mad Rig. I don't know why you watch Olivia's channel, but Ames has a channel. I have a channel, and we're on a couple of horses. Oh my gosh! You rudely interrupt me. We are out here at Mudgee this weekend on Tom's family's property. It's about 1,200 acre property. It's probably one of my favourite places to come on a weekend. As you can see, the views are amazing. It's always a really, really cracker time when we're coming out here. A couple of bevs, a bit ride the horses, bikes, whatnot. Um, Tom's family has probably had this for about six to eight years now and they actually run a lot of sheep stock on here as well so it's like a proper working farm but you can also if you wanted to um, come out here and actually B&B &B a couple of little cottages they have all over the property which is super super cute it's really nice for a weekend away so check that out I'll drop in their little um, name as well you can go check out their page but it's honestly one of the best places on earth I absolutely love it so bring you guys along for the weekend show a bit of what we get up to and see what happens. You reckon girls? You! <laughs> Hello world, this is me, life should be, fun for everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're just breaking some horses <laughs> at Kelvin Station. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what we call the swimming dam. Oh, and, <laughs> and in summer, we literally come up here, bring the horses. Um, the horses love to go for a swim and it's just mint. Like we'll float off a hangover, get all the floaties out, get a couple of beers. It's it's really, really cool. But, um, I'll drop in the clips now and I'll, I'll give you a bit of a, bit of an inside look at what we get up to up here. It's pretty good. As you guys probably would have seen, Nella's a little bit of a water baby. He's like, I want to go in. No. Yeah, Come on, Ames, we're going in. in. <laughs> you better fucking get out of there before you're in there. <laughs> oh, I've lost my reins. No, we are not. Uh, <laughs> no, we are not doing that today. <laughs> All right, so I took the girls for a bit of a tour around the property on the horses. Um, it's bloody freezing, so we're going to put the horses away whatnot. I guess the only thing left to do is really to start drinking, so you Cheers, Sarge. <laughs>
out of the shadows We're the ones your mama said to run from The ones your daddy kept you from Now we're all on the loose and we To the beat just right We'll worry about tomorrow When tomorrow comes tonight We'll just worry about having fun Cause we're the wild ones Yeah You know that we're the wild ones We're gonna always do it our way But We don't care what nobody say Cause we're the wildcats, we're the fighters, we're the midnight of all nighters. Hey, this is the born again, bigger in the scrub. Women, I'm a guy, close guy, what's your money, Paula? We don't need no sleep tonight Everybody's bumping to the beat just right We'll worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes Tonight we'll just worry about having fun Cause we're the wild ones morning guys <laughs> well as you guys probably would have seen last night got a little bit rowdy as it always does can confirm I'm feeling a little bit dusty this morning I'll tell you what that is the last time that I team up with Bridget to plan a prank on Tom because it definitely backfired he got us big time with that food fight he just drenched us from head to toe and that was not fun when it's like minus three outside <laughs> so what's on the agenda for today I think at the moment everyone's pretty cruisy I think um, Johnny Tom's dad wants us to hop on the horses and bring the herd of sheep in um, he wants us to put them in the sheep yards and we're just gonna have a look at them a couple of the mothers have been lambing so there's a couple of new baby lambs which is really really cool so we're gonna um, put them in the yards check them all out we've also got a drench um, all the sheep as well and we'll also have a look and see how many males and females we've got out of the out of the lambs too I think Johnny wants us to do that so hopefully we're not too hungover for that <laughs> but um 
as as I say, jobs right. But yeah, I'll um I'll bring you guys along for it, and then I, after after we do that, I'm pretty sure we're gonna head down to the local pub at Windia. It's a mad little pub. Um, the girls behind the bar are lovely. I think it's called the Golden Fleece Pub. Um, but yeah, if you're ever down that way, make sure you stop in and check it out because it is a mint little pub. So I think we'll head down there later. But yeah, other than that, we'll see what we get up to. Hey, brother. So I thought I'd show you guys mine and Tom's little little um little shack that we stay in when we come out to the farm. This is the yurt. We love our little yurt. It's um it's completely made up of like clay bricks and hay bales. Um, and it's got a little fireplace inside. I'll take you guys in and give you a bit of a, a bit of a squeeze. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed in the yurt, buddy. Oh God. All right, let's turn you around. Avoid the bed, please. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, now slowly, we're gonna come back out the yurt. Come bud. Good boy, stay there. Bit of a mess at the moment but yeah it's really cool to circle the whole way around i love the roof little fireplace bed it's so so cozy really really keeps it warm and then yeah when you wake up in the mornings this is what you get to wake up to i love it So it's been a midday. I think it's time to go to the pub. I need a lane on a truck with five old friends. Tell old lies and then tell them again. This is how you should enter every single pub. Every pub in the bush should have a driveway like this. Bit of a bit of a water crossing, you reckon? Middle of the hubs. I reckon you're gonna have to go swim in the water. <laughs> yeah, right. What was that? <laughs> Thoughtful, my ass. Ready, Freddy? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching This Is Living. We had such a good weekend. Family, friends, motorbikes, horses, food fighting and so much more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Right, that was shit, start again. Three, two, one, action. How about it, Lish? What? You, me, in the yurt later. Scissoring. Scissor sisters. Yeah, no, we, we, we are. <laughs> The views are amazing. The
reviews are fucking mint. <laughs> All I know is you can't get power out of a diesel. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Liv. Um, just doing the intro for the new vlog. I hunt pigs with knives. I, I date guys with mullets. Fuck. Yeah. This is living. This is fucking living. Can I get a hoya? Hoya! I'll no, take over from here. I'll take over from here. Every fucking time Bridget does a snorkel, it's half full. Yeah. Take I'm not, note. I'm not oh, this is very, very hot. Hot. Maybe I should take the puffer jacket off. Oh, it's a double. Anyone else very steep? Yeah. yeah. That was really good, man. <laughs> yeah. That was really good, man. <laughs> 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 Mummy's boy right here. Are you right? That's rug is not for you. Fuck! I keep going backwards. <gasps> fucking chopper read. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These fucking boys on the two way. <laughs> and loves the water. Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. I can't get it. My homeboy's trying to warn me, but that what you got me be so horny.